Hi my friends, today we model this part. It seems to be difficult, but it is not. All dimensions are a few. We start with this uh, section or profile and then we'll apply the tool sweep by using a path. Let's start. New standard millimeter IPT, new sketch, XY plane and we draw a rectangle. This rectangle has its midpoint of a bottom line to the center point. Dimensions are 30 on 20. We apply a fillet of 2 millimeters by default millimeters of these two corners then we apply offset of one millimeter and we eliminate this line we apply extent for these two and now we have two dimensions needed they are tangencies as you can see here i cannot remove this because they are constraints not dimensions we apply split in two points because this must be construction next is the path we use these dimensions and also these starting from the center point to do this we use the plane xz for a new sketch this point is the center point i don't project it here and I draw lines. This is the first. I keep press the left button and I go somewhere here. Then I also keep press the left button to go here. Dimensions are 10. Radius 50. also 50 and uh, uh, this dimension is 90 and this is 40 finish sketch we continue the path with this contour, two arcs, one, two, and a small line. Dimensions 20, 50, and this is 30 plus 20. The total length is uh, 160. Let's do this. We use the plane YZ as the base and we want to be placed here we create a sketch in this plane f5 to see the same view to have the same view we project this arc to obtain this yellow line why because we use lines to create 
arcs. I keep press the left button and I go here. I keep press the left button to go here. Then a short line horizontal. You see this mark of a constraint and uh, this means that this is on horizontal. Good. This is 30 plus 20. This is 50. And the whole dimension is 160 from the center point to the end. 160. This uh, dimension is 20. Okay. I hide the plane and we can use the tool sweep. Sweep. You see that this is the only closed contour. So we see here select curve or edge underline with blue. This is that uh, curve or edge. It is the path. Path. Okay. Let's see what is the volume. I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is 118 it is not a big difference for such a part so we keep the last value that was presented here we apply tools document settings with uh, shaded no edges but this will be applied after we save the part so I use now also shaded simple shaded the color the material is still carbon default lights and now we have uh, the part the color is, is uh, smooth ash now you see that there are no visible differences between them good now we take advantage of this uh, nice part to show you something very interesting we create a new feature by using this sketch we draw a vertical line of six millimeters then we keep press the left button and go to the other end this is a center line we place its center on the center point and we apply revolve for a new solid different from this of this uh, or this area the axis is known so we have a new object here you see 
there are two solids I make this different by applying the red color now you understand this is different from this good now I want to multiply this on the part this sphere this ball firstly I create a sketch a 2d sketch on this face I place randomly some points finish sketch then I use a new sketch driven pattern I select this object as a feature then I select the sketch the only sketch is this one so we have some new objects on it you can also create a 3d sketch you include include some uh, lines or path and we place again points this is one point this is another in space they are not on the same plane finish then sketch driven of the same object along this edge that's what I wanted to show you because uh, you can uh, have uh, to work with this new tool that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye